Hello everybody, this is Sister Gloria, and today we're going to talk about um, staying focused on the assignment. And what is the assignment? To warn mankind of the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is so easy to be distracted. Lord, y'all, I get distracted too. But I got to stay, we got to stay connected to the Lord and we got to stay focus on what we have been commanded to do for God. Whether the people receive it or not, we still got to tell people that Jesus Christ is coming and not to get caught up in the cares of this world. God told us, say, he said, don't love this world, neither the things that are in the world. He told us, don't love this stuff. It, it's all right to have it, but he said, don't love it. Don't, don't be so caught up in it that, that, that you lose your focus and, and, and you get so caught up, you don't even want to leave. You be like, well, I know God coming, but I ain't got my Mercedes yet. I know God coming, but I ain't got my husband yet. Hey, look, y'all. Jesus is soon to come. No man knows when, no where, but we got to be ready at all times. Not getting ready, but be ready and stay ready. Yeah, we got to stay clothed in the righteousness of God. We got to keep on the whole armor of God. We're all battling something, but we got to remember that God is the focus. God is our focus. We can't look at one another by what we see on the outside. No, no man by the flesh, but we should know each other by the spirit. What's operating on the inside? Yeah, then we won't be distracted. Uh, we won't be deceived because deception is prevalent. Deception is all around us. You know, it sounds so good. It sounds like the truth. I mean, I mean, everything is in place. But let me tell you, the devil, he has a plan to destroy us all. But God ain't going to let us be fooled. Now, if you, if we are fooled, it's because we, we are tempted. Uh, uh, we, we, we're just tempted and our desires are not toward God. So we need to pray and ask God to give us his desires. Lord, we want what you want. I want what God want. Y'all, at the end of the day, when, when our time has expired here on the earth and we don't know when, we're going to stand before the Father and we're going to have to give an account of all we said, done, yeah, we're we going to have to give an account. We ain't going to have no excuse. We ain't going to be able to point the finger and say, he made me do it. She made me do it. No, you're going to stand for yourself. I'm going to stand for myself. And guess what? Ain't nobody going to be there to vouch for you. Ain't nobody going to be there to vouch for me. We going to have to live holy and set apart. Y'all, this thing is real. Yeah, and um, as I, I say this a lot because I know people be offended, but... If there is a fire going on in your house, if your house is about to burn down, do you want me to come by smiling and, and just ring the doorbell and say, uh, there's a fire in your house? You know, you know, I, I, I ain't showing no excitement. I ain't showing no emotions. And you about to uh, die in your own house. So we're going to turn that thing around spiritual. Jesus is coming. And if we don't be in place when he returns, if we have not done what he has commanded us to do, if we are one foot in the church and one foot out of the church, in hell, we're going to lift our eyes. It's just, it's, it, that's just plain and simple. It ain't no other way to put it. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. Y'all, this ain't nothing but the truth. Don't you want the truth? You want me to get up here and lie? I can't lie because I know the truth. I know God is a real God. And I know that 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 what he want me to do is to warn mankind. I'm coming. Tell my people to get ready. Get ready for my coming because I'm coming to get them. Y'all, do y'all see all the death that's going on around here? All these young women being killed, young men, children, people just dying all around us. And, and, and I remember... When I would go to a funeral, it might be maybe one or two, maybe three at the most a year. 
but you can go to a funeral just about every day of the week. Where I live, people dying all around us. And y'all, they dying without uh, Christ in their lives. And it's our job to tell people the truth, to tell people that Jesus is coming. Yeah. Some people going to accept, some people are not. Some people say they know they're going to hell. You know, they all right with it. That's because they don't know no better. But I'm going to keep on crying loud and sparing not, whether you like it or not. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And, and, and if you are called, if, if God has called you to do anything, it is your job to let the people know that Jesus is coming. And I, I ain't doing this to be seen. Who want to get on here knowing people going to reject you and people going to call you all kinds of names and, 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 and try to tell about your past? And who want to do that? Anything you want to stay in the, in the back and you want to just, just shut up. Like Jeremiah said, uh, um, Jeremiah, I got it right here. Jeremiah 20 and 9. Jeremiah didn't want to speak no more because the people were doing all kinds of stuff. He said, uh, Jeremiah 20 and 9. Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak anymore in his, in his name. But his word was in my heart like a burning fire, shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back and I could not. And y'all, I can't. I, 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 I got to do what the Lord say, not what man say. God said, warn the people, let them know I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming at an hour that you think not. You, when, when, when you least expect it, that's when I'm coming. But let me tell you, he coming to those that ain't expecting him because the body, the bride of Christ, that's us. That's me. That's you. We, we are expecting his coming. We know he coming. We ain't going to be tricked. We ain't going to be fooled. We're going to stay on the alert. We're going to be watchful. We're going to be vigilant because Jesus is coming. Hey, y'all, this is this all I have. I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all stay with Jesus and, and, and don't leave him because he already said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you to the end. And y'all know God is, he been with us. All the stuff, all the hell we done been through. You better not leave God. This ain't the time to be turning back. This ain't the time to go back into the world. This is the time to keep warring a, a good warfare. Fighting back, fighting back with the word of God. That's how that's how you that's how you fight back. We fight back with this word. Because see, this word is so powerful. The devil got to flee at the name of Jesus. We call on the name of Jesus. He got to go. He can't hang around. My God, he loved me. I'm so glad God didn't let me die in my sins. Y'all, I'm so, I'm so happy about it. Lord, thank you. I give him praise and glory. And I think about how I could have died in my sins. I'd have been in hell right now. You too. You'd have been in hell right now if God hadn't spared your life. But God spared our lives. So, so what we going to do? We going to do that which pleases the Father. Yeah, that's what we going to do. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all be blessed.